Hello everybody, this is Mithril Zenith. Welcome back to Age of Empires, the Age of Kings on DS. We are currently halfway through the Joan of Arc campaign. Welcome to Mission 4, Breakthrough to Orléans. With the Dauphin Charles now firmly convinced of her authenticity, Joan implores him to send her to relieve the besieged city of Orléans. It lay many miles to the northeast and was currently encircled by English forces. Should it fall, Joan knew that the Dauphin's cause would be lost. The first step to saving the Orléans was to bring the defending garrison some much-needed food and supplies. She would get the Frimbloy, a town along the way. Orléans is suffering greatly. We must retrieve supplies from Blois, from Blois and deliver them to Orléans. The way will be perilous, but with your divine inspiration we shall prevail. The land is surrounded by mystery. Enemies may abound in the darkness beyond our vision. Please explain. Black map, fog of war, and sight range. Terrain beyond our sight is hidden by a darkness called black map. Your unit can move into black map and the map will be revealed once your unit is done, but you could be surprised by what you find there. You'll also find areas previously covered by black map will be concealed by a haze called the fog of war. It is the limit of your sight range and enemies can hide behind it. Try to maneuver your units onto high ground to increase their sight range. The mission would be hopeless if we didn't have you leading us, John. Your hero powers are now activated and can greatly affect the outcome of battle. Please explain. Each day, you may choose a new hero power to use from the hero command menu. Some powers have situational conditions to use or only affect certain targets. Your blinding faith power will lower defense of enemies within your sight range. Your divine purpose power will heal every one of your units a bit. Yes, hello. The enemy is already around us. This may be a good opportunity to try your blinding faith power. Hey. To inspiration, Joan and Adrian units gain 20 health. By purpose, all friendly units gain 5 health. Blinding faith, all enemies suffer minus 25% defense. We can resolve adjacent and diagonal enemy units lose 25 health. Personally, I think we can resolve would be the better choice here, but we'll go with the tutorial and use blinding faith. Yes, hero powers can be used once per day, I believe. So we have, let's see, horse archers, knights. What does skirmish do again? I wish there was a good glossary of unit abilities. Unfortunately, there is not. So if we charge in here, we will trample them out of That's what I thought I did, yes. Skirmish, uh... If you use to fire on them, advantage or first strike. Uh, even when you're on the defense, uh, you will still be. Even when on defense, you will still get an attack in before your enemies do. Though I think skirmish in particular only gives you 50% of your attack. I don't quite remember. Either way, still a useful ability. Um, horse archers only have two range by default, so maybe it would have been better to put them on the mountains. But alas, here we are. Still very effective. Okay, and now we attack the light cavalry. And finish off the minute arms. There we are. Fairly effective. Okay, so what is our what are our goals? Collect trade card in blue. Trade card must reach Orleon. Joan must reach Orleon. Retrieve the lost relic, find the hunting party, and destroy the enemy battering rams for our goals. Nothing time-based. Seems good to me. I'm not going to charge forward on my max movement because that seems a little foolish. Ah yes, the enemy are actually affected by Fog of War as well. Skirmish, quite effective. Dun -dun. Battle. 
quite effective indeed. Oh, these are elite skirmishers, that's why. Yeah, that'd do it. Goal for this mission involved two separate locations on a large map. It's a good thing we can check the mini-map. Sure, explain it. Click down there. Map turns the map into a grid. Units, buildings, resources, and shown as squares, diamonds, and triangles. Each opponent units and buildings have their own colors. You can tell them apart. So... Taking down these skirmishers is going to be important. If I attack them from the mountains with my horse archers, then I'll have three range and they won't be able to counterattack me. Skirmishers are skirmishers in this game are very interesting enemies because they have those bonuses, uh, because they have that skirmish ability. It's just so effective when it comes to actually dealing with. Oh yes, but because your skirmishers have the skirmish ability as well, then it counteracts theirs and allows you to strike first. Oh, sad. Okay, it's... Joan and adjacent units, but not diagonal units. Okay. But I mean, that alone will still be good enough. Inspiration. Gonna be using that pretty regularly because that much healing is very good. Very effective to have that much healing. Plains charge, they have skirmish, but doesn't matter. Plains charge lets us finish them off. I should probably be moving these units in a slightly better way to arrange them in preparation for what comes next. You know what? It is what it is. Charge into the plains to explore here, I think. Yes. English day two. Yes, they have found my knights. And dealt quite a bit of damage, that's unfortunate. Yes, but because they're sieging Orleans instead of actually attacking or doing meaningful damage. Oh yes, I do not want to accidentally merge my units, so let's not do that. Inspiration. Keep everyone topped off. Or not topped off, at least significantly higher. Forests. I forget if they block vision or they just reduce vision. Either way, they're quite effective barriers for Fog of War. I think there is a level of veterancy, because I have that one ribbon on the skirmishers, but I don't actually remember if it does anything. I think it does, but I don't remember for sure. I'll park this here. Some good vision range. Some tasty vision range. I don't think we have a time limit on this map, so I'm just gonna treat it like we don't. Must reach Orleon with the Joan and the trade cart. Um, retrieve the lost relic, find the hunting party, and destroy the enemy battering okay. rams. Sounds good to me. Forget if the hunting party is down that way or not. Um, seems like it could be, but I'm also like, mm, I don't really know. Yep. And there's always a reason to at least use divine purpose if nothing else. 
anyone's hurt because five five point of healing it's not a lot but it adds up it definitely does add up yes supplies for our besieged countrymen are prepared let us deliver the cart to Odeon. It's very low attack strength we must protect it with our lives while fair Odeon is lost Crossbowmen of Louis will do a new escort. Command them as you wish. You can rest our injured units here, Louis, but let's not tarry long. Injured units recover a small amount of health each day by resting on a friendly building. Yes. So, crossbowmen are not just a straight-up upgrade to archers. They have significantly more stats, but they feature no move and attack, just like those scorpions from the uh, tutorial. So if you expect to be able to, you know, move and attack, can't do that. That's not allowed. Need some more, like, artillery from... And that trade card would just move to the back there. Makes them more like artillery from uh, Advance Wars. Hey. Yep. Okay, I believe that's as far as we can move. There's more. Do I purpose? Yep. Every hero has, I believe, four powers, and being able to use one of them per day, um, that's really the most defining uh, choice of which uh, Civ you pick because one per day one hero power per day when they're that impactful that is not bad it's actually quite beneficial As monks wish to pledge their service for the savior of France they're not fighters the blessing can heal wounds or convert friends to foes sure monks are weak but available units to have supporting your army they may use the heal command to return health to injured units or turn enemy units with the convert command. Conversion attempts have a range, like the range of archers attacks, but are more effective on adjacent units. Still, they're always a gamble. Some units are more difficult to convert than others, and some, such as heroes can and enemy monks, can never be converted. Monks can only make one convert attempt or heal one unit per day, so use them wisely and keep them out of harm's way. Each group seems to have suffered from enemy attacks and little health. Uh, we should not merge the units, but sure, explain them. Merge two damage units into one strong one, as long as they are two of the same kind, like two monks or two pikemen. They're not monks and archers or pikemen along swordsmen. Merge option will appear when damage units are adjacent to one another. Health will be added together, and unit will grow until the next day. No unit can have more than 100 health, so only merge units with major damage. But I don't believe merging is actually strategically helpful most times. So instead, I'm going to heal and heal. It looks like heal heals 20%. And I may have just moved them into a problematic location, especially because all my infantry are back here doing nothing. I probably should have waited for advancing, but that's that's the life that I decided to live, and that's the bet I made. Trade card has good vision. Let's use it. English day five. Be prepared to lose your monks horribly. Sounds about right. <laughs> Oh, they're attacking the horse archers. Interesting. That's bad for me. <laughs> oh, that's actually very bad for me. Um, goodbye horse archers. Okay. Well, with that horrible decision out of the way, let's continue moving forward. 
Gonna attack over here. I like the fact that we got elite skirmishers instead of just regular ones. It's actually quite helpful. Well, they will suffer greatly. Greatly indeed. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty effective. To come over here and attempt a conversion. Oh, we could have our monks actually attack, but that's not gonna. Oh, nice, we did it. Attack, body left. And now, move forward and heal everyone. Another quite effective turn. Okay, day six. They're gonna attack the trade cart, deal not meaningful damage. Our trade cart dealt damage back. I think we could kill them with the trade cart if we wanted. <laughs> oh, do it for the meme. Do it for the meme. Run them over with the trade cart. Do it for the meme. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. It actually is like very poor decision. But you know what? I could do it, so I did. Anyone back here? Oh yeah, the long swords moon I probably forgot to move last turn entirely. But here we are. Okay, elite skirmishers, move forward. We found regular skirmishers, move on to the mountains. Or the hills, I guess. Up. That's some pretty good usage. It's supposed to be a hunting party over here, so I think we can explore down this way to find it. Oh. Well, that's not a good decision. Why did I do that? Oh, a band of hunting archers emerged from the forest. This one to fight the English, that was your command. And they wish to share their detailed knowledge of these lands. Black map is lifted. Well, that would be would have been nice to know um, that I <laughs> I just moved a little too far forward. Okay. So it looks like yeah, archers. Yes, the relic is over here. Nice to move my monks over to get. Let's do this, and then let's move the archers over and see if we can't save our poor knight who uh, made a very poor decision. Bodile. Fifty percent with one volley, not bad. Seven percent in one volley, and then probably another roughly thirty-seven percent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I a little more than three shots. Cool, 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 cool. English day seven. Yep, and now here is time to die as they move their archers into the mountains, and that's a big hurt.
I do fire back, but not meaningfully. Yes, and they're surrounding the city quite effectively, and I'm going to go kill the archers. Yep, this is why you don't charge head first into the enemy. Okay, so. We have. What do we have? Okay. I can't quite move in to meaningfully. What, seven sight range? What? Okay. Hey. Somehow I don't feel like that's accurate. Because. each tile has a certain amount of space as not only a certain amount of move allowance it has a certain amount of vision allowance as well so if I were to move here be one two three four five six seven so I would not be able to affect all three of them okay okay, okay. anyway you can move over here and get the relic. You can move forward and maybe be useful eventually. Yes, I think it's important that we keep wary of the enemy archers in those mountains and not let them just do whatever they want. But then I would need to see them. It's not something I can do right now. If I move my knights over here, then I'll sh I should be able to see the archers. And if I do, then my own archers can attack them. Though they will get counterattacked. And their archers will have a greater defensive advantage being in the mountains versus being in the hills. So yeah, see. I only dealt 50% to them, roughly, and they dealt 35% to me, so would not call that a victory overall. Can I defeat them with my elite skirmishers? Yes, good. Ta -da. Let me advance with pikemen. Skirmishers into the mountains. Which can attack their light cavalry. And now what we need to do is destroy all of their rams. Because we destroy all their rams, it'll be a much more effective. Or then, then we get, you know, the three stars. We're good. I'll just stay in the mountains. And yeah, move the cart over. I think the cart technically counts as a siege unit. Its unit type is trade cart, though, so who knows? Battle! Battle! Not meaningful damage at all. And yes, skirmish means that they try to attack me directly. I still give more than I take. Skirmishers in this game are so good because of that ability. Oh yes. Attacking my monks. How dare they. Skirmishers are very, very powerful indeed. Every shot will fly true, my lord. But yeah, crosswomen. Quite powerful as well. <laughs> but it's interesting what just giving that simple seeming ability of like all your attacks, if attacked, 
you will deal your damage first, always. How much that shakes up. Uh, the way combat works. I firmly believe that skirmishers are one of the best units in this game. <laughs> Just remembering that. At the very least, one of the most annoying units to do anything to. Oh, I can cast Weakened Resolve, so let's do that. Deal some free damage. Ain't no damage like free damage. And healing, keep up your health. You can probably get the trade cart in. Combat in a few turns. Okay, looks like I can move the trade card onto mountains. Get the trade card inside the walls quickly. Okay, so let's route the archers. Siege units can't cross the fording. Good to know. I think we need to destroy all the battering rams to to win the bonus objective. That's gonna take a little bit. But I mean, like we don't have time. I have to. Defeat that monk, apparently. Well, that's unfortunate. I'll send a long swordsman over. No. Ah, uh, who else to send? I mean, what else do I need to do? A couple of those. Yeah. Maybe saying my second monk would be a better idea. But monks are horrible versus monks. Um, who can even get there in a timely manner? I'm just gonna send my pikemen. Why not? Does that count as in the city? Yes. Trade cart reaches Orleans. Make sure that Jean does not reach Orleans because that would end the mission. I don't want to end the mission early. Okay, yeah, let's just attack. Okay, every little bit helps. Moving and attacking in the same turn is so good. Definitely an underrated ability. Okay, and we cross. And we cross. And we should be in a position to win pretty soon. They're reorganizing all their units, but due to the uh, funky, I will say, unit uh, ordering, I think they technically move all their units in the order that they were created in. And so for pre-existing units, they move the units in the order in which they were placed. Oh shoot, that's a lot more enemies than I thought were here. With Joan, it's always interesting because is it more worthwhile to use your area of effect attack, your area of effect hero power, or to use a direct attack or a heal? A very powerful uh, unit in a lot of ways. But it is an interesting amount of choice that you have. Stop over 
here. Hey. There. Hey. There. There. So they have a monk here. Let's see what this looks like. It looks really dumb to me. Awesome. We can heal over here. And we'll see how this goes. I frankly have no idea. But it looks like they're treating my monks as very high value targets, so that's good, I suppose. Now, I don't remember if Joan's area of effects ability can destroy enemies that are at less than 25%. So that would be something good to know. Ah, uh, why move into melee range? I'll just do that. Get skirmishers, there we go. Then we'll take out these men at arms. Rams. These men at arms because they're still a threat. As what I say are these like cavalry. Yeah, because hero units are super strong to attack with. But you also have you know they have their hero powers and so it's like they're super strong with their hero powers as well which one's more valuable to use at any given time it's actually kind of a toss-up sometimes which i like i like that that is the way that that's the place they decided to kind of put the most thought into okay what you're gonna be doing which there's a lot of thought to what you're going to be doing what units you're going to make how you're going to attack the positioning you're going to attack in and then the hero powers just add that extra layer on top which so greatly influence you as it's like okay well which civ do you pick because you have joan of arc with the french who is very powerful all that healing, some AoE damage, very direct but very powerful in terms of that direct, like, numbers type of calculations. Meanwhile, I forget what the others give, but I think the other heroes give some other types of... Um... I'm gonna heal you first, then attack. Uh, give other types of bonuses, which aren't necessarily just uh, just damage, just attack. But some of them are also just, in general, better, stronger attacking anyway. Turn the Rams is short to slow down the English siege. Okay. And now we see how horribly long it takes to defeat the enemy monks with our arm. Shouldn't take too long. Actually, I should be able to kill them this turn. <laughs> they attempted a conversion. Didn't succeed, but they attempted it. Oh, that would have been really bad. They actually succeeded in that. English stole this relic from the church in Oleon. The monk colleagues should see that as return to save. Let's capture relic to collect the relic. 
safe return of this relic will lift the broken spirits of the citizens of Orleans and retrieve the lost relic. Oh, so I don't have to drop it off at the church, I just have to hold it. Nice. Well, that's all. Hey. Let me double check, I believe that's all of the bonus goals completed. Hey. And here we are at Orleans. Citizens of Orleans, your prayers have been answered. To savor the maid of Orleans has been delivered unto you, let all rejoice. There we go, 14 turns. Finished saving. Arriving in Orleans, Jean was greeted by a throng of citizens chanting her nickname, La Pucelle, La Pucelle. She brought them food, but more importantly, she brought them hope. The maid of Orleans, as Joan would come to be called, would deliver them from the clutch of the ruthless English, or so they hoped. For if Joan the maid could not rescue Orleans, then there was none who could. There we are. Well, we have two more missions in the tutorial campaign, but seeing as how we have received a number of Empire points, we can buy some stuff. So these units will be available in campaign maps as well. So they tend to be just slightly stronger versions of various, like 25-25 stronger is really kind of how they are, 24-25, possibly 50-50. Um, I don't know if they're available to every Civ, but I mean... It makes the game significantly easier when you have them. Knights of the Round, Welsh Roman, uh, Swiss Pikemen, Genoese Crossbowmen, all pretty good options. Dark Ram, Warwolf, Mul's Meg, and Double Handers we can get later when we are in Imperial Age. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. We will continue next time with the Siege of Orleans. Until then, this is Mithra Zenith signing out.